Hello there. Um, last time we met, we were assigned this worksheet, numbers one through six, as your homework. So what we're going to do right now is correct this worksheet. So I will go through all the problems and then we'll finish this worksheet up. So if you do not have this worksheet, go ahead and find it so that you can correct this and see how you did. All right, what we're talking about are things in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So remember when graphing, the first thing we're going to do is we need to graph a point. And in this particular case, when it's given to us in slope intercept point, slope intercept point form, what we're going to do is graph a point first, and the point we're going to graph first is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is found at the end of the equation, so in this particular case, it is a negative 2. So we're going to go put a dot right on that y-axis down at negative 2. Then the second thing we're going to do is use slope to find more points. So we're going to use slope to find more points on this line. To find more points on this line. Alright, so in this particular case, the slope is 7 over 2. So we're going to rise 7 and run Two. Notice both of those numbers are positive. So up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and over 2. So this is that unit box that you guys have been talking and doing about. So we have two points, so we can now connect them. And make sure you put arrows on the end of your line. Number 2. So we're going to first grab the point, And the point we're going to graph is the y-intercept. And in this particular case, it is 0, 3. So this is your y-intercept. Second thing we're going to do is use the slope to find another point. So the slope here is a negative 6. So remember, we like to put a 1 underneath it to help us with rise over run. Now, remember, there's two different ways to do this. And I personally like to always go up and then I'm going to go left because this is negative. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm going to go left 1. Well, you can see that brings me off of my chart. So what is the opposite of up and left? Is going to be down and right. So from that point, I can go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and right one. And you'll notice the point that I even have off the graph is in line with all of these. So make sure that you put arrows on the end of your line. All right, number three, y equals five. So this is either a horizontal line or a vertical line. It still has a constant rate of change in that it is straight and not jagged. But this one only has the y-axis in it. So this is only going to cross the y-axis. This is a horizontal line at y equals negative 5. Every point on this line has a y value. So it's negative 5, negative 5. This point right here is negative 1, negative 5. This point right here is 3, negative 5. This point right here would be 6, negative 5. So do you see how the y value in every single one of these is a negative 5? All right, here we have our y-intercept at a plus 1. And then my slope is 6 over 5. Those are both positive, so I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to go over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you can see that brought me off my chart. So this is what I'm talking about, that you need to be able to go both ways. So if I went up and then right, the opposite of that is down and left. So down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And all of these points are in a nice straight line. Wow, that was pretty good for me. 
so that we have a constant rate of change, and this is non-proportional because it does not go through the origin. All right, number five, my y-intercept is a plus two, and I'm gonna go up one and right one, two, three, four, or down one and left four, connect them. Do you see how it has a positive slant as the slope is a positive number? And number five, well, this one is an x equals five, so this one can only cross the x axis, so this is a vertical line. So every point, like here, is five, zero. This point is five, negative two. This point is five, three. Do you see how the x value is always five? All right, this is what your assignment was, but now what I want you to do is stop this video, pause it, just stop it, and now that we've gone through and corrected these, please go on and finish the worksheet. So finish and do numbers 7 through 12. When you're done finishing those, then come on back and watch the rest of the video and I will correct it here. Remember, if you don't practice these, you're not going to get any better. So please, please, please stop the video, do the problems, and then come back and finish her up. Don't just copy it. All right, good luck. All right, number seven does not have a number over here. There is nothing over there. So that means this one is gonna go through the origin and we still have a slope of five over three. So I'm gonna rise five and run three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So we have that unit and then the opposite of this, so if I want a third point, I can go down one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And now all of these points line up, so we have a constant rate of change. And notice, does this one go through zero, zero? And this one does, so this one is also proportional. Our other ones haven't been proportional, but this has a y-intercept of zero, so this one is a proportional rate of change. All right, x equals zero. So x equals zero is actually going to be this line right here. So that every point on here, that point is zero, four, zero, one, zero, negative four. Do you see how all of the x values are zero? All right, y-intercept is a three, one, two, three, and that slope is a negative one-third. So rise and run. So I like to go up one, and because this number is negative, I go left three, up one, left three. Now most of you are gonna say that number's negative, so I'm gonna go down, and this number's positive, so I'm gonna go right. So down one, right three, down one, right three. Notice that all of those points line up in a nice straight line. So this has a constant rate of change, but it does not go through the origin. So this is what we would call non-proportional. Number 10, our y-intercept here is a negative 4. And the slope is 1 fifth. So I'm going to rise and then run. So I like to go up and right. So up 1 and write one, two, three, four, five. Now I don't have room to do another point and I like to do three points to get my line as accurate as possible. So I'm gonna go down one and write five and these will connect to make a nice straight line. Is it proportional or not proportional? So remember, it has the constant rate of change but is it going through the origin? No, so this would be non-proportional. Number 11, our y-intercept is negative two. Remember, we always want to graph a point. We have to have a starting point. And then we're gonna use our slope to find some more points. So I don't like to just say over, I like to say left or right. So I'm gonna go up one, right two, because both of those numbers are positive. The opposite of that would be down and left. Please remember your arrows on the end because this line can go on forever in the number of points we can have. Y-intercept is five, so put your dot right here at five. And then our slope is two, and remember we put a one underneath it. 
So I would like to go up and right. But notice, when I go up two and right one, am I off of this graph? So you absolutely have to be able to go the other way, which would be down and left. So we have to be able to go the opposite way, down and left, down and left. And all of these points are in a nice straight line. Is it proportional or non-proportional? And this one would be non-proportional because it does not go through the origin. Alrighty, we're done with this worksheet. Have a good day.